Hi everyone, welcome back to Gold Fries and Happy New Year. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I think is the best value GPU for 2024 and as with what you see in the title, yes, I think the AMD Radeon RX 6600 will be the best value GPU for 2024. Best value because a card like this, the Power Color Fighter RX 6600 retails at just about RM1000. I know, I know, there are um, lesser price, Let, let's put it that way, lesser price product in the used market, but we're not going to that aspect because there are many who have concerns with used market. So let's talk about new one, an RX 6600 like this model retails about, retails about RM1000-ish, which if you go by US dollars, maybe about 220-ish. Well, regardless, RX CT600. Maybe you do not want a power color one, there are other models. Personally, I like the power color model a lot because one, it is short, so it fits into a lot of systems, even the compact ones. And then two, it's also short, so again, it will fit into a lot of compact cases. Then it has two fans over here, and the fans are rather huge, which comes to, you can see that it reaches the edge of the shroud. And then the heat sink, it's of a thin type of fins, you know, not those, uh, not so nice heat sink like you can see in one model over here. I'll link it over. So it is a nice car. And then there's no backplate. I know some of you like backplate, but personally, yes, if you are putting it this way, maybe backplate looks good, but the advantage of not having a backplate will be like, again, compact systems, which I always like. It's like you put in a sandwich system, no backplate means it's uh, less challenging to manage. So overall, yes, I like this power color model a lot. Some models they have backplate, they are really big, may not fit certain cases. Personally, yeah, I like this model a lot. Now let's dive into the benchmark. We're not going to go through full details of like what I did last time. That's another video which I'll link up there. So um, here's the benchmark of which you can see it is plenty sufficient for most people gaming at 1080p, 60Hz refresh rate at maximum graphic detail presets. Seriously, this card, while it's a 2021 release, in 2024, it's still relevant. So for anyone looking for a best value in GPU, I think the RX 6600 is good. And if you remember, I published a video of what I think would be the best value CPU, and that is the Ryzen 5 5500. So going along the line with, uh, with that video, which means you're looking at budget setups, right? Pairing the, the Ryzen 5 5500 with an RX, uh, this uh, RX 6600 will work out just fine. And then you might think, will it bottleneck on that? Very little. This is a very strong card. Yes, admittedly, the 5500 CPU will slightly bottleneck it, but um, as you can see from the benchmark here, not much of a concern. It will bring you good value, that's for sure. Well, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and the previous one, so you, can, you understand how these um, components work, and you look for a system with an RX 6600, and a baseline CPU like the Ryzen 5 5500 pair with two sticks of memory so they can run dual channel and everything and you're set to go to enjoy 2024, enjoy your titles, enjoy your gaming sessions. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you also enjoy this video and do remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one. All the best to you for 2024 as well and bye-bye.